Hey ladies, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, today's devotion is going to be coming from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 4 through 7. I just want to start out saying, let's face it, there are a lot of speculations and ideas and stories that are being circulated around social media, um, around the news, the tabloids, basically any platform. Some of these ideas are coming from political leaders and other ones are coming from people that you know and yes they are to persuade you many times in a certain direction and a lot of them and I, I know I'm not the only one that's seen this but a lot of them have been fostering hate and fear which is the opposite of love and love has to abound in each and every one of us regardless of our political environment regardless of what we see and whatever we're going through because we know at the end God has the final say and whatever we hear around us it's gonna be what God decides at the end of the day we can read in first Timothy chapter 1 um, in verses 4 through 6 to start talking about where instruction and news can often be given without wisdom without charity without being grounded in the faith and how that can be a, a basis for people falling away from the church, all because of them not being rooted in the faith. So let's, let's read those verses, um, starting at verse 4 and go down to verse 7. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions, rather than godly edifying, which is in faith, so do. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned, from which some, having swerved, have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. So they're not understanding what they're saying, not understanding what they're proclaiming or the ideas that they are trying to get across. We have to be careful to filter out what we hear and what we're hearing from other, whether, like I said, whether it's news and someone that you know, and the things that we ourselves are saying, that we are putting out there. Because it's our purpose to reinforce God's love and to make sure whatever we're saying, that our heart is in good standing that we're propagating the gospel, that we're propagating the love of Christ and what we do and what we say. Um, the goal is to not be in the spotlight. Uh, we're not trying to illuminate ourselves um, and embellish the word of God and make it our own ideas without consulting God. We can look further down in that chapter, we see that um, what Paul was talking about that these individuals were trying to become experts in the Mosaic law, but they had no foundational knowledge. They weren't rooted in the faith. They weren't consulting um, God. They weren't consulting their leaders and doing the right thing. They were doing it from vain con deceit and conceited opinions, conceited ideas, um, not ones from a pure heart. But it was very timely, um, and we know that the, the word is a double-edged sword. We know that it's applicable back then, and it's applicable for today. I mean, God can show us that when we look back in the scripture. Um, and just looking at these verses, it's showing me that we have to have discernment in whatever we do, whatever we say, to make sure that it edifies God and pray whenever you see something or a political idea. God, give me the discernment. Is this something that is coming from good heart, good coming from good conscience? Um, before I tell someone this, before I pray this for somebody, what is my heart's posture like? What am I doing? What am I saying? Is it pleasing to you? Is it coming from the word? Making sure that whatever we say, to speak it in wisdom, to make sure that it is subjected to God's operation and not our own, not our own ideas, but God's. 
I encourage you to let this be a prayer for you and to encourage yourself. God, help me to be able to discern what I hear and what I say and that it would be pleasing to you and that I would lead someone else to you. Be blessed.